Well, hello! Welcome back to the channel! Sorry if my voice uh, is a little bit weird, I got a cold and I don't know how. And we are going to roll with it. I wanted to film this video because I believe that I just found the best Etsy research tool that is out there. Well, if it's not the best, then it is my favorite. All the research tools have their own unique points and their benefits. And I plan to make a comparison video of the tools that I used and tested. But recently I've been using a lot this tool and I can say that it quickly became my favorite. And I want to tell you why. The first reason that it is my favorite is because it will allow you to do on-site Etsy research. And by this I mean you can view the listings and analyze them directly on the Etsy platforms. You don't have to take links and paste them into other uh, browsers and other tabs. You can just do it right there from the Etsy products page. Well, the main Etsy shopping page. This tool is really great for quick decisions. When some of the other tools are better, when you want to analyze something very deeply and very uh, to the last point, that's when you can use the other tools. But this tool, and I'm talking about Everbee, you can use this when you want to validate your ideas very fast. I will show you how I use it, but this way, if you're using Everbee, you can find profitable niches and underserved niches. And they also came out with a few new features recently, and I would like to show you how I use it to find new product ideas, profitable product ideas, future product ideas, and so on. So let's hop over to my computer and I will show you how I use Everbee to make more money on Etsy. So let's hop over. Okay, here we are on Etsy and I will show you how I use Everbee to find potentially profitable items on Etsy. Now, these features are really amazing, so stick with me to the end until I can show you all of these amazing features. If you would like to try out Everbee, there is a link down in the description, so I would really appreciate if you would click on it. It is an affiliate link, but I am sure that you will really enjoy this tool and uh, you will find it very useful and very helpful for your business. So, let's get started. You can see that the Etsy Chrome extension is installed onto my computer and this is the Everbee toolbar right here. It will appear when you are signed in into the Chrome extension. And this is how it looks like. You can do product analytics, keyword research, you can favorite some items to save for later and you have an Etsy calculator as well. And there are some other features here as well I'm going to show you in a second. How Everbee works is that it will pull items from the first page and it will analyze them. So let's see. For demonstration purposes, I entered the digital planner into the Etsy search bar. And now let's see what did we come up with. These are the listings that are here and these are the most popular at the moment. Well, January and almost uh, February is over too, so digital planners, I am not sure how well they will do in the second part of the year because there is a big trend in December and in January to buy digital planners to plan your year. But let's see what can we find here. Let's go to product analytics and Everbee is thinking and it will show us a bunch of data. Here you, we can see the listing photo and now if we hover over it, it will make it bigger so you will be able to see that item better and you will be able to see what it, what it is about and the style and the things like that. So then you have the product name, the shop name, the price of course estimated sales in the last month. Each tool has their own algorithm. Everbee has its own Etsy rank and the Sales Samurai also have their own methods and algorithms of uh, calculating this number. But what I really like to check out is the estimated revenue in the last month and uh, the estimated total sales. So as you can see that this first item made 3,800 dollars in the last month. So let's sort it by revenue. And as you can see that the best performing one made $71,000 in the last 30 days. Well, I know this item and we are going to talk about it in a second. I'm going to open it on a new tab. They came out with a few new details for this. So if we scroll to the right, we will be able to see some new features. And one of those is the favorites, the views, the shop age, not just the listing age. For example, this first item that they did 70,000 in the last 30 days, the shop age is 7 months. So this shop did something very good and very strategically to be on that first page. So, but we can see that, let's see, they had approximately 
4,800 sales last month, which is amazing. I talked about this shop before. And then this listing age is two months, so this means that it was listed in December. And the shop's age is seven months, so not even a year into their Etsy business, they are pulling in very good numbers. And now we can see that their visibility scores. This is a really good indicator of how well that item is optimized for the keyword that I entered in, and that is digital planners. And let's scroll down if we can see something that is not as well optimized and there might be some room for improvement. Another really good thing to know is their conversion rate. This means that out of the people who visited that item, how many actually bought it. And in this case, in this first listings case, it is almost 4%, which is a really good conversion rate for a digital item. Let's see if we can find something bigger. There is a 4.5%, 4.8%, but nothing really above 5%. These percentages are really usual and really common for digital products. And here is the shop's estimated total sales, which is really good in just 7 months. 40,000 sales. After 6 years I don't even have that much. I think I believe I have 35 or 36,000 sales. So this shop did something very good. All of these details are new to Everbee and it will help you a lot in uh, determining if that product is profitable and if that product is worth your time to put energy and effort into creating that product. Of course you don't copy it, you make your own version of it. So now let's take a deeper look at that product. So this would be That Girl Digital Planner and as you can see it's still on 60% off. What I believe that this shop is doing, because I have been following this shop for a while, the whole month of January they had their shop on 60% off. I believe that this is a sales strategy on their part. They jacked up the price and then they put on a big discount percentage. And I can see that this sale ends in 9 hours and I will come back tomorrow and if the item is on sale again, I know that they are doing this on purpose and not just as a thing, an experiment, but it is a very conscious business strategy to put their item on 60% off. But now let's talk about Everbee and as you can see we have this button here where you can calculate the profit after this item. So let's hit that button. Everbee will pull all the numbers and here you can see the sale price, the shipping cost, in our case being a digital item there is no shipping cost. Then we have the discount. At the moment it is a 60% discount. It will pull this data too. You don't have to enter anything. Cost of the item, well it is zero because they just had to make it, make it once. No shipping costs, no advertising costs. And now what I really like about this part is that they have this little graph here where they show you how much of this is profit and how much goes to Etsy. And there is no shipping so nothing goes to the shipping company. So let's take a look. We can see that they have a discount percentage here of 60%. The revenue is 653. Here are all the fees that they will pay to Etsy. Uh, no shipping costs and things like that. So here is a quick summary. So out of the 653, Etsy takes 136 and they are left with 517 as a profit, which is an almost 80% profit, which is an excellent profit margin on any product. As Well, with digital product, these profit margins are normal, but for physical products, this high of a profit margin is very rare. This is one of the main reasons I started creating digital products, because I always thought that the high profit margin that they bring is really good. And now that I have Everbee, I can find really good opportunities and really good niches. The only thing that I just need now in extra is a lot more of time, time and time. Yes, because I have a very long to-do list thanks to Everbee with potentially with potentially profitable digital products and I really, really want to do all of them. Now I just need three things. Time, time and more time. So let's keep going and let's explore all of the amazing features that Everbee just introduced and made our life easier with uh, Etsy research. Oh yes, you can access this profit calculator also from here from the Everbee dashboard from the Etsy calculator and it will bring up the same page. Let's see another great update and that would be their upcoming holidays. 
As you know, there are lots of lots of official and unofficial holidays and if you'd like to create products that specifically are created for those holidays and are targeting those specific holidays, this is a really cool feature. You have to put in two types of products into your shop, trendy products and evergreen products. These would uh, fall into the trendy section because there are because there is a very short window when people will be interested in these kinds of products. So, here we can see the upcoming holidays, Valentine's Day, what else, that is more of an official thing, Red Cross, St. Patrick's Day, Women's Day, April Fool's and things like that are coming up, Easter of course. So let's see Valentine's Day because that is the nearest one and that is the first one and let's see products for that niche. Well, I'm not sure if they are going to show us only digital items. Yes, Etsy knows me by this time really well. Everbee will automatically pull up all of the items from that page and it analyzed 64 items that are on the first page. Etsy showed me automatically only digital items because by this time it knows that I am only interested in digital items. If I am trying to find a physical product on Etsy, it is very hard for me because Etsy learned my behavior and learned what kinds of products I am interested in. So it will show me those products because it knows that I am interested in them. But here are all the items from this first page and let's rank them by revenue. And as you can see, this first one made $13,000 in the last 30 days. And these are some generic Valentine's Day gifts. Oh, this one made 8000 almost. But here are some SVGs and some other kinds of digital products as well, some physical, but mainly digital. But if I would like to analyze even more items, there is a shortcut for that. And that would be this button, Analyze More Listings. And if I click on it, you will see that now Etsy analyzed 300,000 items. Now we just have to filter it by our niche and that niche is digital. So let's filter. This is a really good thing if you would like to find the common parts of two niches or two very similar items. But you will be able to see. So we want something that if in the product name contains, equals, starts with, ends with, things like that. But we want to see products that are instant downloads because usually those are digital products. People don't put in their title digital product, they will put in instant download or PDF or something. So those are the amazing features which made me fall in love with Everbee and I tend to use it every day now. I really like to use it, I love their filters, I love the new visibility score chart and I really really love the profit calculator because it will show you how much that item is actually making for that seller. If you would like to try out Everbee, again the link is in the description and I would really appreciate if you would use my link. Tell me in the comments down below, what do you use for Etsy research? Everbee just happens to be my new favorite. I have been testing it for three months now and I can say without a doubt that it helped me find new keywords, find new profitable products, find new niches and lots of lots of things that made my to-do list very 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 long. That would be for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you will give Everbee a try. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about digital products, Etsy, how to make money on Etsy with digital products and so on. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!